the library is really excited to have 10 iPads that we can check out at, to students. These iPads can be checked out for six hours at a time and can only be checked out and returned when the library is staffed. You will need your student ID to check these items out. What this video is about is to help with video recording. FSPP and also people recording their dissertations need to make sometimes recordings that are five hours long. We've developed a way to meet code of ethics issues and also the ability to download large files on campus in this specific way. Um, you'll first of all need to go to settings. Under settings, you'll look for camera camera right here. Under there, go to record video, select 720. Go back. Now you will simply go to camera. Go to video. Sorry about that guys. And you're going to record. Your recording may be one hour, two hour, or three hours long. Based on the length of your recording, you're going to have to sit at the desk, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and allow for the download from the iPad to a sand disk that will then be used in the computer that is not connected to the internet. Let me talk about these times as I make my little recording. If you have a one hour video, you're going to wait for about three minutes for it to download to the sand disk drive, and about the same amount of time to transfer from the sand disk drive to your password protected over 20 gigabytes flash drive that you'll bring in. If you have a two hour video, it's gonna take about six minutes to download. It's going to take about the same amount of time to go from the sand disk to your flash drive. If you have a five hour video, it's gonna take about 20 minutes to transfer from here to the sand disk and another 20 to 30 minutes to transfer from the sand disk to your flash drive. So make sure when you're calculating the times you need to spend at the library that those are included. Now, I'm going to end my video. I'm going to go and insert our special disk drive. We will have these directions also available for you in full color so that you can see the pieces. You're going to select the smaller end to insert into the iPad which is a lot easier than I'm about to make it look. When you do this, it's going to bring out the iExpand app. You're going to allow. You're going to view the license agreement. You're going to go to the bottom and accept. You're not going to take a tour. Skip for now. Do allow access to your photos. Don't allow, oh, do allow, next. Okay, I got it. Every time we use the uh, iExpand app, it may have different things loaded on it, and it may change a little bit, but essentially what you're looking to do is to get to copy files. You're gonna copy file photos from phone, even though this is not a phone, this is our video. We're going to copy to the iExpand drive. We're going to save it to videos. We're going to select our file as a movie and copy here. This, of course, copied very rapidly. We're going to eject our piece, come here, you're going to put your flash drive here. I've never inserted a flash drive right the first time ever. And you'll put your password protect, protected flash drive here. So when you open up to view files, you will see your videos. You will not have all these here, sorry about that, but you will take this and drag it to your removable disk. In this case, I'm just going back to that one, but you will have your password protected removable disk. And this process will take about double the amount of time. So if you have a five hour video, please expect to stay here for at least 30 to 45 minutes.
I hope this has been helpful. If you need an in-person tour, we'd be glad to make an appointment and provide one for you. Other than the recording, it's essentially very simple. We just need to use a disk mm -hmm. to take the large files from one place to another. And once you understand that, it's really quite easy. And we look forward to you using our iPads. They're also available to take to classes, to take notes. We have Bluetooth keyboards, and um, we'd also love your suggestions for other technology the library should provide. Thank you.